I'm here with my October favorites. I did not do a September favorite. I actually didn't have a whole lot of other favorites besides what I showed in kind of my weekly favorites, but I have quite a few that I've been really loving for October. Kind of a nice mix of skincare, foundation, eye products, just kind of a lot of everything. So the first I'm gonna start with a non-beauty favorite and this is my water bottle. These at TJ Maxx, they are by the brand Nathan. And I love these. I have so many of them. I probably have like 10 different ones. They always have cute colors. They're about $7.99. This one is a 24 ouncer. I think they have one that's either a 20 ouncer or maybe 30 ounces. So there's like one other size besides this one. Um, but I absolutely love this. It makes it easy to drink a lot of water. I am horrible at drinking water and just making sure I'm getting enough. So having a cute water bottle always makes it easier. So I'm loving this one. Well, I'm loving all of mine, but this is the one I'm using today. So that's my first favorite. Next favorite is a body care. This is the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula Cocoa Body Butter. And you guys know I'm a sucker for cocoa butter anything. I love this. It is a little bit greasy on your skin. Oh my word, but it smells so good. It smells like just delicious chocolate. So delicious. I absolutely cannot get over the smell. I love putting this on. It's for dry to very dry skin. So this is so perfect for the winter time. I love putting it on my legs. It gives you a little bit of like a greasy feeling. So it's not something, you know, if you like a very lightweight um, lotion, this is probably not for you. But if you like something extremely moisturizing and smells delicious and just makes your skin feel so hydrated, I highly recommend checking this out. Again, it's the Palmer's Cocoa Butter, Cocoa Body Butter, Ultra Moisturizing Cream. And it smells so good. Um, and it says it's made with natural cocoa butter. I've been loving are these two products here. Now these are organic mineral peels. One is for your face and one is for your body. They come in really nice glass jars. So you wanna be careful with them. You don't wanna drop them. Um, but I love this. This face one is really cool. It says to spray it all over your face. I was kind of worried about getting it in my eyes. So basically I just kind of spritzed it on my hand and then rubbed it into my face. Basically you just spray some on your skin, you let it sit for three seconds and then you use like a washcloth or your hands to exfoliate and then you rinse it off. And you're supposed to do it two to three times a week. I do it maybe once a week. Um, I probably could do it a little bit more, but I really, really like it. It's gonna make your skin feel so clean and just so smooth afterwards. So I spray this on, use my hands, rub it in, and you get like little peelies of like dead skin. It's kind of gross, but kind of cool at the same time if you're into like exfoliating. This is the body one, you do the same thing. I would just spray this all over my body, let it set for a few seconds, use my hands or use a washcloth, and just rub it into my legs. It's great to use if you're gonna be self tanning. Uh, just helps really get a lot of that dead skin cells off, and I love it, and it's organic. And I do have a code down below for 20% off you guys, if you guys are interested in picking some up. I love it. I really, really recommend the face one. I will have a 20% off discount code in the description box if you guys are interested. Um, another product I've been loving is this Shea Cashmere Hand Cream in Warm Vanilla Sugar from Bath & Body Works. This makes your hands feel so nice and like, ooh, just makes them feel so good. You don't even need very much, and it just... It doesn't make them really greasy. It just makes them feel super soft and moisturized. So I really like that. Um, the Shea Cashmere Hand Cream and Warm Vanilla Sugar. I actually did pick up some more of this at Bath & Body Works because this one's almost out. But it smells really, really nice too because you guys know I love vanilla. Foundations that I've been loving. I have quite a few first impressions coming up of all three of these, so don't worry. I will give you more information on all of them, but I'll just quickly go through some that I've been loving. Cosmetics, Your Skin But Better CC Cream. SPF 50, this is the shade Medium. Oh my word, I love it. I have a first impressions coming up of it, so that's all I'm gonna say about that, because you will know how I feel about it and how it wears throughout the day and everything. Been loving this. Smashbox Studio Skin, I've been wearing this so much. I know I said I had a first impressions of it. I do, I have it filmed. It was in filmed in my old makeup room, but the ending got cut off, so I'm just going to film like a general review of how I feel about it now that I've worn it for a while and attach that to the end since I don't have the regular, um, ending of the video because I don't know what happened to the footage, but that is coming. It is filmed. I just need to film a outro for it. So um, I've been wearing this a lot. I'm wearing it today. I just really love this foundation. Uh, and again, I will tell you more about that in that first impressions video. Also the Chanel Matte Lumiere. This stuff is awesome. I mean, I could wear this all day and have no powder on my face and I'm still matte. It's long wearing. I really, really love it. Again, you will have more information on that first impressions that is already filmed as well. So those three in October have been awesome. I've just been playing with a lot of different foundations and so far I'm really, really loving those. Uh, I'm back to using my MAC Pro Long Concealer. This is in, in, this is in NW20. 
I can't find my NYX one anywhere. I went to go look for it and I couldn't find it. So I pulled this baby out. I do really love this concealer. A little goes a long way. It pumps out one full pump and that's always way too much, but I really, really love it. It's a really great concealer for obviously under your eyes because it doesn't settle into fine lines. It doesn't get crepey. It just lasts all day. Also, it's great to use. Um, for like highlighting your face as well. So I really highly recommend that. The primer product I've been using, you guys know I'm like big into mattifiers. This is the Eve Pearl Anti-Shine Mattifying. I purchased this off of Holt Look. Um, I will leave my link down below if you're interested. And I got some crazy discount. It was like 40% cheaper than what it normally is. Um, and Eve Pearl is on there all the time. And I really love this anti shine mattifying gel. It does a great, great job of just mattifying my T-zone. I just pop a little bit of this in my T-zone and then put a regular primer on the rest of my face. And it just does a really, really good job of keeping that shine away, even if I'm not using like a mattifying foundation. So I've really been loving this. Again, I get it off Hot Look. That link will be down below if you're interested in signing up. It's free. They have flash sales all the time of high-end makeup, clothing, um, jewelry, home stuff, kids stuff. So I really love that site. And Frequently I'm purchasing random stuff from there, but this was one thing I really loved. Two eye products. These mascaras are bomb diggity. This is the best Jordana Best Volume Extreme Volumizing Mascara. Um, you could get these at Walgreens. They're super cheap, like under $3 or under $4. Now this is a huge gigantic tube and the brush is huge. So um, I mean, in comparison to my eye, it's like the size of my eyeball. If you can see here, it's very, very big. But the formula is so great. I love what it does for my lashes. It does a great job of volumizing, lengthening, separating. Uh, really, really great mascara and so, so cheap. So I highly recommend checking this one out. I know a lot of people like the um, Jordana Best Lash Extreme. This is the Best Volume Extreme and it is so amazing. I highly, highly recommend this. Higher inside, the Bare Minerals Lash Domination Volumizing Mascara. This is awesome. I heard about this from Crystal or Crystal is 007. If you guys haven't watched her videos, check her out. I will link her channel below. She just has some seriously awesome hauls and she hauls drugstore to high end and I always get so many great ideas from her on products. So definitely go check her nice out. kind of curved wand. It is um, the rubber bristles, but I really like it. Really great job of volumizing, lengthening, separating. It's awesome. Um, so it is a little bit of a higher end. I want to say it's around $20 possibly, but it's really, really great. I highly recommend that. Some other random makeup stuff. A few eye looks I've been loving is my tutorial. I'll link it down below of the gray and purple eye. It was the copper plate on the lid with like a purpley pink in the crease. That has been one of my favorite looks to wear. I've worn it, I don't know, almost like three to four days every week for the past few weeks. I really, really like it. Um, again, that tutorial will be listed down below if you haven't seen it already. And then the other one is kind of the look I'm wearing today. It's all Makeup Geek shadows, which you guys know I'm a huge fan of. Um, I just really love them. And it's all of these like kind of orangey shades in the crease. So we have like Peach Smoothie, Creme Brulee. I don't know what all of these are. Frappe, we have Frappe here. Purely Naked, Creme Brulee, Peach Smoothie, like all of those kind of mixed in the crease. Then I do a little bit of like Cocoa Bear and Burlesque, um, you know, to deepen up that crease. And then I'll put, I know I use a lot of shadows, but I like to mix them. Um, mocha and then Corrupt. This one's Mocha. It's a nice matte brown. And then Corrupt, which is this really nice matte black. I put that just kind of in the outer V section. Then on my lid, I kind of do a little mixture of Sweet Dreams and Afterglow, which is kind of like a champagne color. One's a little more champagne, one's a little more tan. And I'll kind of do a combination of those on my lid. I will um, link the Makeup Geek stuff all down below. And then lip combination. This lip has been my favorite or a variation of this lip. I've shown it before in my fall favorites um, for lip picks. I'll link that down below as well. It is Max Vino Lip Liner, which is a really nice deep wine color with Max Beat, which is a little bit more of a raspberry shade, and then Milani's Sangria. And again, I have these all swatched on my um, lip picks video, so I'll link that down below if you want better swatches. And then also, I have a lot of people saying that they wish I would link the products in the description box. I actually have them all linked on my blog. So I'm getting a lot better at listing the products or what I'm wearing on the blog, so make sure you check that out. For some reason you can't understand what I'm saying, or I go too fast over a product, or it doesn't come out clear, go check my blog out, because there's a good chance it'll be listed on there. So I think that was the last thing. And then um, also, if anybody's wondering about like where my perfume stand is from, or where like my 
like background stuff is from. A lot of that is listed in the description box in the um, like frequently asked questions down below too. So just to clear that up for anybody who was wondering, cause I know I have a lot of new subscribers. So you can find all that stuff in the description box or on my blog. And I think that's it. I had a great, great October. I know this is gonna go up a little bit before the month is over, but I hope you guys all have a safe and fun Halloween. Um, Ethan is dressing up as Superman. I was Robin, as in like Batman and Robin, cause Benji was Batman. So if you're not following me on Instagram, check out my Instagram because I have pictures of our costumes and stuff like that. And that also just kind of lets you know a little bit more about stuff that's going on in my life and house updates and all of those things. I am also working on bringing back my vlog channel, which was or is Cassie and Shaded, um, which is my other channel, which that's also linked down below. I started trying to do daily vlogging. The daily vlogging is a little too much for me, but I do want to start putting up videos of like house tours or like room tours or decorating stuff, maybe some cooking videos. So um, that's kind of what I'm working on right now in the process of getting that channel up and running as well or back to um, having some activity on it. So feel free to subscribe over there and within the next few weeks, there should be some videos going up on that channel. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're all having a great, great day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.